Coach, we're talking a lot about momentum and things and trying to get that going. And basketball, you see it a lot. Hockey, about getting a team hot at the right time. Certainly your team has been hot, hot, more hot at other times. How do you get them to that stretch run where they can compete at the highest level? Well, I think a lot of it's coming home. We play well at Howe. Uh, you know, we just came from the hardest place in the conference to play, and that's in Tucson. And coming home, and uh, I thought we played very well Monday, especially with little sleep and a lot of travel stress. And uh, I think we're going to hit our stride here. I like our chances, especially at, at home. Do you try to peak a team? I mean, is it the same as like a track deal? Or are you working players in from a pitching rotation to get them peaked at the end because you know you're going to make the tournament? Now, at this point, we're trying to be peaked all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're in Pac-10s. This is where it's at. We earn postseason now. and So, no, there's really no peaking thing going on. We're trying to make sure we have some balance and some depth in case of an injury or something. But, uh, you know, our best players pretty much are playing most of the time right now. Coach, can you talk about where Annie's at and the possibility of her you know, getting back in here this season? Well, it's probably week to week, not quite day to day yet. Um, there's definitely a possibility. It's, it's not quite clicked yet. And uh, she's working as hard as she possibly can. She's doing everything she's been asked to do and more. Uh, nobody wants to be out there more than she does, and nobody wants her out there more than I do. And uh, hopefully it will be there. Maybe it will be our kind of secret weapon for the second half of the Pac-10 season. And in her absence, I guess Alicia has stepped up pretty well. Well, Amy Harris has stepped up huge. Right. And, uh, you know, Amy's having an incredible season, incredibly proud of how well she's pitching. And Alicia Cook has stepped up. Lindsay Contra as well. The game she pitched Monday was outstanding, a shutout. Um, you know, they're banding together as a pitching staff and really making it go. And, and I'm proud of their effort. I'm proud that, that our team steps up and covers when injuries happen or setbacks happen. Has there been a point where you thought about putting Annie in in any game? Of it? I mean, have you come close to putting her in? Or she's not even there yet. Well, I started her a couple of weeks ago. Right, but and I mean, she like just Arizona wasn't or... quite ready. Not yet, no. Uh, I mean, when you're talking number two team in the country, you've got to really feel good about your game, and, and everything's got to. You got to be confident and ready to go. And she's not quite there. She's not far from it, but she's not quite there. Mm -hmm. And I don't know when that timing will be. I, I hope it will be this season, but it may not be. There's no pressure on her. I will not push her out there before she's ready, and we'll all decide that together when that time is. When you see a team like California and Stanford coming in, I mean, everybody's highly rated, of course, but a team that's won two national titles in the last three years, right? Is that right? Yeah. Two out of the last three? Well, they've been in the national championship games three, three consecutive years. years, and they've won one of them, yes. When you look at your team and you see a team like Cal that's done that, how far away is your team from being able to do that? I don't think we're terribly far at all. I and mean, this year they have seven seniors that are just critical members, and those kids have played together all along. And I'm really grateful they're seniors. So next year, hopefully, we see a younger Cal team again. But our players are, we're coming along well. We've had some adversity with Annie's injury, with Joanna Gale's injury. Uh, we, we fought some things weather wise that we hadn't fought before. But I think we're a very dangerous team. We took two games off the defending national champion here. I think there are a lot of teams that are looking, going, eh, I don't know what to expect from them. They're a very uh, complete ball club that can step up at, at any time. How important were those Santa Clara games, confidence-wise, in the back of two ugly-looking score lines against Arizona? Oh, huge. And really, you know, I look at the games with Arizona probably differently than everybody else does. You see 8-1. to one. I saw 2-1 to one in the 5th and 3-1 to one in the 5th on TV. Great games. We had the bases loaded against Arizona in the top of the 5th before they broke through, and we could have broke through. I thought they were great games. They came apart a little bit at the very, very end. So the Santa Clara games, again, considering they had very little sleep, we had about two and a half hours of sleep. Some of our players had only arrived less than two hours prior to game time. I thought we played great. I was so proud of that effort. Maybe as proud of that effort as anything else we've done all year. Coach, there's a little impetus out there with what Oregon State's doing. I mean, in this league, to win as many games as they have in a row, I mean, that's really amazing. That's and awesome. To put a little impetus or a little, you know, a little urgency on your team to try to get going in the same, same direction. I, I, we don't talk about it that way. Quite frankly, we're pleased for the Beavers. You know, we want to beat them. And it's fine with me if they win all their games up to the next time we play them next week. But, uh, you know, the Oregon and Oregon State have always had kind of the lack of respect in the Pac-10. And uh, I think we've earned a lot of respect over what we've done over the last three years. And I think definitely what they're doing now is nothing short of amazing. They're the hottest team in the country. They deserve all kinds of uh, press and, and publicity and notoriety. Um, you know, I, I hope for them they can keep it up. I think it's a long haul. And I, but, man, 7 and oh, holy cow, that's incredible. But, no, I don't think we would use that in any way, positive or negative in any way. Maybe Which, next week. Yeah, next week, definitely. <laughs>
four runs scored in the last four Pac-10 games. What has to change offensively? Obviously hitting with people on base. We're getting people on and we're not getting hits necessarily when we need them. Now, I'd also like to think that, you know, maybe we're in a situation where one run can win a game, but that's a lot to put on our defense and our pitching staff. So we need to score more runs. I'm incredibly proud of the 1-0 win against Arizona State, our first ever Pac-10 win in Arizona. That's a huge win for us, and uh, our day will come. We'll get, our, uh, we'll get a win or more in Tucson. It wasn't quite ready this time, but we were close. So that first game especially, 2-1 to one with the bases loaded, I liked where we were at.